Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we'll talk about multiplying radical expressions. A couple of things to go over first, uh, prerequisite material if you will. You need to recall the distributive property. Um, if we're multiplying a term by a binomial or a polynomial of three or more terms, we can distribute that term to each term inside in other words, this is AB plus AC. Also, if we're multiplying a binomial by a binomial, we can use uh, what's commonly referred to as the FOIL method, uh, really is just distributing uh, A times C plus A times D plus B times C plus B times D. Uh, when we multiply radicals, if the radicands are different, for instance, if we had the square root of 2 times the square root of 3, we can multiply those in one radical, which would give us the square root of 6. And if we multiply a square root by the same square root, we know that the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 could really be represented as the square root of 25, but the square root of 25 is simply 5. When we multiply the square root of a number by the square root of the same non-negative number, their product is simply equal to that radicand. Uh, finally, if we have an expression of this form, a times the square root of b times c times the square root of d, uh, we multiply the numbers in front of the radical, the factors in front of the radical, a times c, and then inside the square root, we multiply the two radicands, b times d. All right, that's enough prerequisite material to get us started. Let's take a look at some examples. Uh, first, a single radical expression, uh, one term, multiplied by another one term radical expression. We're going to multiply the factors in front of the square roots first, and 5 times 4 is 20. Because the radicands are different, we'll simply multiply those in the same square root and 2 times 3 is 6. If you tried to simplify 6 we could not get anything further out of that square root so 20 square root of 6 is the simplified answer. Uh, this example looks pretty similar. The difference is that the radicands are the same so when we multiply that will come into play. First multiply the factors in front of the square roots 7 times 4 is 28, and by what we said on that first screen, the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is simply 5. That leaves us with 28 times 5, or 140. On to the distributive property. We're going to distribute 6 square root of 2 to each term inside the parentheses. All right, for the first multiplication, 6 times 7 is 42. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is simply 2. And for any non-negative integer n, or a non-negative number n, the square root of n times the square root of n is simply going to be n. Now when we mu multiply it by the second term, uh, the the two radicands are different, so we'll just multiply those out. Uh, minus 6 times 5 is 30, and that's the square root of 2 times 6, or 12. Now, we can simplify the square root of 12 using the fact that 12 is equal to 4 times 3, and we know the square root of 4 is 2. 42 times 2 is 84, minus 30 times 2 square root 3, and let's clean up this term, we're left with 84 minus 60 square root of 3. Uh, here's a problem, uh, again, you may think of this as FOIL multiplication, but it's really the distributive property. The first product, 9 times 4 is 36, and square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. Uh, next, 
9 square root of 2 times negative 3 square root of 3. Multiply the factors in front, that's minus 27. The two radicands are different. 2 times 3 is 6, so we have the square root of 6. Uh, the i from FOIL, 5 times 4 is a positive 20. Square root 3 times square root 2 is square root 6. And then finally, for the last multiplication, minus 5 times 3. And then the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is simply 3. So we've got a little cleaning up to do. Uh, we have two products that we can take. Also, we have a pair of like terms in the middle. 36 times 2 is 72. Negative 27 square root 6 plus 20 square root 6 is minus 7 square root 6. Minus 15 times 3 is 45. And we have two uh, constants without a square root that we can combine. 72 minus 45 is 27. So we're left with 27 minus 7 square root 6. Um, you may be tempted to try subtracting 27 minus 7, but the 7 is attached to the square root of 6, and we cannot subtract 27 minus it. Okay. Uh, last example, the square of a binomial. Uh, to begin this problem, we want to rewrite this as the binomial multiplied by itself. That's what it means to square an expression. It means to multiply it by itself. Uh, first times first is 36 times 5. 6 times 6 is 36. Square root 5 times square root 5 is 5. Then we're going to have minus 12, 6 times 2. Square root of 15, 5 times 3. Next, we're going to have minus 12 square root 15 again. And finally, negative 2 root 3 times negative 2 root 3 is plus 4 times 3. Okay, let's clean this up. Uh, 36 times 5 is 180. The like terms combine to be minus 24 square root 15. And 4 times 3 is 12. 180 plus 12 combines to be 192 minus 24 square root 15. And that's simplified. Okay. If you have any questions or comments on this topic, or if you have a request for a video that I can put together for you on YouTube, you can reach me through the contact page on my website, and that address is georgewoodbury.com. Thanks for watching, and good luck.